princess. The princess. Princess. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Did you miss me? Did you miss me? <laughs> Did you miss me? Princess attacking Danny. Oh. Princess. 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 Oh. <laughs> She's so funny. <laughs> Princess. She can't get enough of you. <laughs> Princess. Oh, did you miss me? Huh? Princess. Where's your daddy, Princess? Did Where's you your daddy? Me? Did you miss me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, so cute. Princey, where's your daddy? <laughs> Princey, where's your daddy? Where's daddy? Where's daddy? <laughs> Gone six months. This is what you get. <laughs> she loves you. Princey, princess, where's your daddy? Are you happy I'm home? Huh? <laughs> Princey, where's your daddy? Princess, where's your daddy? Are you going to ignore mommy now? Yeah. <laughs> that's the love. That's the love. Oh, notice how she goes right into the position of yep. in your arm. Yep. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, that's a good girl. No. My two favorite people. <laughs> okay. How do I turn off? Well, it was a special day for one New Jersey family. It's been months since the Lee children have seen their father who's been stationed in Afghanistan. But as TV 1055's Hazel Sanchez tells us, today they got a soldier surprise. Staff Sergeant Devin Lee is used to wearing a uniform, but certainly not one that makes him a knight and brings him back to medieval times. I'm super anxious, a little bit nervous, um, but I'm, I'm pumped up about it. Lee, who has been serving in Afghanistan since November, had a very special mission involving two little knights in training, his 10-year-old son Troy and 7-year-old daughter Elena. They weren't expecting him home until Saturday, so when a knight in shining armor rode into the arena and chose them to join him? I thought it was just a night that we were going to have to, that someone was going to come out and we would have to fight him. Oh, but it was nothing like that. The knight raised his mask and revealed he was their father. Troy's jaw dropped and the children lunged into their father's arms. It made me really happy inside because... He was back. When you saw Daddy's face under that mask, how did that make you feel? Happy. Yeah. Why, is it, why does it make you so happy to see your Daddy? Because he's been gone for like 106 days. This is a pretty uh, unbelievable moment, like just seeing their face, like when they finally recognized me. It took, it took a couple seconds, but once it, once it hit them, like who was actually in front of them, it was, it was a pretty unbelievable moment. It's moments like this that help make up for the long time away. Nothing like having Daddy home. It was extremely emotional. I mean, I knew that they would be excited. I knew they'd be surprised. But to see it happening was awesome. Was this the best surprise ever? Yes. Staff Sergeant Lee says he will enjoy at least three months at home before he may be deployed again. But his daughter Elena says she's just happy. She doesn't have to wait two more sleeps to see Daddy. In Lyndhurst, New Jersey, Hazel Sanchez, TV 1055. That was Yeah, heartwarming story. Okay. Randy, you just let us know. Uh, starting in three, two, <coughs> one. We are creating a video to show on WEDS as part of our Veterans Day program. We want to conduct 
an interview with EDS students who have parents in the military. We have some questions we would like to ask you about what it is like when they are stationed overseas. Please introduce yourselves. Um, I'm Grace Menzies and I am in seventh grade. I'm Jack Menzies and I am in fourth grade. I'm Lily Menzies and I'm, I'm in kindergarten. Now, great. Now, now, Lily, which one of your parents is in the military? My dad. What country is he in? Kuwait. Wow. When, Jack, when was the last time you saw your dad? Eight to seven months ago. And Grace, when is he scheduled to come home? Um, the middle of December. Um, what do you think of your dad and what does he do for a living, Grace? Um, he is a pulmonologist in the Navy and I think he's great. Lily, are you proud of what he does? Yes. And Jack, what do you do to help out others, other military fam families who are stationed in other countries? Well, um, I do pennies for peace. Um, it's here where it's not really the military, but it takes, well, pennies for peace takes, takes pennies, dimes, and all that stuff. And it takes, and then it donates to people in Pakistan, who, um, it takes one penny to go to school for a day and one dollar to go to school for a week. <laughs> hard to describe you uh, when you're gone all you think about is coming home and uh, I just got off the plane last night and my wife picked me up in Gulfport just about two and a half hours ago so uh, I'm still a little tired from traveling and uh, just happy to be home with my kids and my wife and uh, have time to think about it over the next couple of days I guess but uh, just Understand her, man. Yeah. <laughs> 
you know, I, I, I really don't think I should present this award to us. If I have somebody that I would really like to present this award to you. And that person is PFC Sean Dasher. <laughs> What'd you get? the crap out of me. Get out of the way. Oh. Who is that? Oh, she gave you sugars. Good girl. <laughs> 